Females go, Molly McGee of 79 Wistful Vista is practically fearless. Mice and lightning and sounds in the night, she dismisses with a ladylike shrug. The only thing that will reduce this otherwise intrepid person to a mass of quivering, terror-stricken womanhood is her husband's announcement that he is going to fix something. <laughs> like now, as we meet Fibber McGee and Molly. Now, please, McGee, please, for the sake of our happy little home, please do not do it. But, Molly, I got the urge. And you know me, when I get the urge to fix something, I just got to do it. Oh, dear. Now, let me see, how long has it been since I took the vacuum cleaner apart? Not long enough. And leave the toaster alone and the washing machine and the refrigerator. Oh, well, gee whiz, my gosh, a man's got to have a hobby. And my hobby is that I like to tinker with stuff. I know, lover. But your tinkering is always so expensive. Huh? Put a dollar sign in front of the word tinker and what have you got? <laughs> Why, Molly? <laughs> what kind of a way is that to refer to a guy that all I'm trying to do is to... Oh, dear, somebody at the door and me standing here waving a dish towel like it was a distress signal. <laughs> and don't think it isn't if you try to fix something. <laughs> you see who it is, McGee, while I take off this apron and fix up a little. Okay, dream stuff. Now, there goes a good kid. Always gets in a panic when I start to fix something. Just because I got five thumbs on each hand ain't any reason why I... Come in. Hi, mister. Oh, hello there, teeny. <laughs> Hi. Can you direct me to the name of a good jeweler, mister? And can you, please? And can you, hmm? A jeweler? Well, frankly, sis, I don't do much business with jewelers except... Hey, what's that? That thing you got under your arm there. Looks like a cuckoo clock. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Well, the reason it looks like a cuckoo clock, mister, is that it is a cuckoo clock. Only it doesn't cuckoo, it's busted. <laughs> Sis, this is fate. This is destiny. No, this is a cuckoo crock. Clock. Oh, yeah, crock. <laughs> Only it doesn't cuckoo, so if you'll direct me to the name of a good jeweler. No. Hmm? I says no. You're going to just leave that with me. I'll have that thing running and cuckooing before you can say I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> and here, sis, now let no, me No, mister, no, please, no, I'd rather take it to a jeweler What's the matter, you think I can't fix it? Oh, sure you can fix it, I bet you You fixed a lot of things for me, but Well, then I don't see why I can't but fix gee, it But, gee, you never fixed them, any of them very good Huh? You fixed my tricycle, and I'll only go around in a circle And when you painted my coaster wagon It ripped all over my dog market And everybody laughed at him because nobody ever saw a green fox terrier before. Yeah, but now look, sis. And you... when you fixed my skipping rope, oh boy, I told you it was too short and you told me I wasn't jumping high enough. <laughs> and, and when I fell down on my... Hey, sis. Back porch, hmm? <laughs> Look, sis, I might have fumbled a few of them other jobs, but think of the experience I've had since then. Give me a crack at that cuckoo clock. I guarantee satisfaction. No, mister. I'm sorry. It may be more expensive to take it to a jeweler, but... I'll give you a quarter if you let me work on it. Fifty cents. Thirty-five. Thirty. Forty-five. Sixty. Seventy-five. Okay, here's the crock. And here's the six bits. Now, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to put it with all my other money, I bet you. Good for you. Piggy bank, huh? No. Nope. Kramer's soda fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mister. Well, so long, Katie. <laughs> uh, McGee, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Taking advantage of a little child. Bargain her down from 25 cents to 75 cents. Just to... <sighs> down? Why, that little bandit. She took me for 50 cents. If I ain't the biggest... Uh, McGee, who was that at the door? I thought... Well, what on earth is that? This? It's a cuckoo clock, kiddo. I'm going to fix it for Teeny. Ain't that wonderful? I've never worked on a cuckoo clock before. You've never tried cracking walnuts with dynamite either, but one of these days you will... <laughs> 
this will be a breeze, kiddo. All you got to do is open this little door here. Make a minor adjustment that... Oh. Hmm. Well, how time flies. <laughs> ah. Isn't this wonderful? Hand me my pliers, Tootsie, and stand... Uh, let's see. This wheel must go in here. That one goes like that. Yep. Now all I got to do is tighten this spring a little. Grab that cat. That's the second time. Well, I've how's been... the clock coming along, Mr. Oh. Ingersoll? <laughs> got it licked yet or vice versa? Hmm. Help me pick up these parts, will you, Molly? That answers my question. Oh, I'll, I'll get it worked out, okay? Don't you worry. I'm going to try a different hookup this time. Put this spring in first. And this bunch of wheels with the flat sides. I'll tie the tail of the cook hook. Oh. Heavenly day! Hey, did you hear that? Yes, did you, you know. hear it? Did you hear it, cuckoo, Molly? Uh, did I hear it? Yeah! Why, the nasty little woodpecker tried to bite my nose off. <laughs> Why don't you put that clock in a sack and take it down to do Boy, oh later? boy, I got it to cuckoo. And besides that, the works didn't leap out all over the floor this time, too, either. They stayed in it. Oh, boy, I'll have this thing fixed before... Hello, Molly. Hi there, pal. Well, good afternoon, Mr. Wilcox. Come in. All right, Junior. Walk easy, will you? I'm fixing the bird. How's that, pal? Well, he's working on a cuckoo clock, Mr. Wilcox, for little teeny down the street. Oh, well, that's very interesting. But look, kids, I've got news. Big news. Yes, we know, Mr. Wilcox. Every week your news is Oh, but news. this is new news. Look, we've got a new wax, a new glow coat. My gosh, son. I was just getting used to the old glow coat, and here you come leaping in, eyes flashing, bosom heaving. Oh, oh, but this, this, this is the greatest new development in floor care in 15 years, pal. Yeah. Johnson's new water repellent glow coat. Water repellent? Oh, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Molly's Uncle Dennis is water repellent. <laughs> to him, water is the most repellent stuff. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, listen. Think of having a new kind of Johnson's glow coat that positively does not leave drab, dull spots when you wipe up spilled things. Personally, I think it's a wonderful... Johnson's self-polishing, water-repellent glow coat, the first of its kind. It stays on and it stays bright. A polish that thumbs its wax at a damp mop. It's at your dealers now in the same familiar glow coat packaging. Oh, hey, by the way, pal. Yes, Waxy? There's a tip for you in what I just told you. Oh? Take a hint from this great new Johnson's glow coat and apply it to your own career. His own career? You mean... Yes, you too can be a success if you stay on and stay bright. So long, kids. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that, Molly? I'm getting it, kiddo. That door slam did it. Three times it cuckooed this time. Boy, oh boy, I'll lick this baby yet. Wonderful, dearie. And just think you've still got enough odd wheels lying around the table there to build six more clocks. Heaven forbid. <laughs> oh, boy. Come boy. in. Oh, dear. Oh, it's his honor, the mayor. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hello, Mrs. McGee and McGee. Well, Sit down and wipe the, the puzzled look off your post, Latriv. I'm fixing a clock is all. A cuckoo clock. Oh, very interesting. I have a rather extensive collection of clocks, you know, as a hobby. Is that so? <laughs> yes, yes. I bought a beautiful clock at a sale just the other day, in fact. Hmm. Quite an old one. It's a grandfather's clock. Really? Whose? Uh, <laughs> whose? Yeah, yeah. Whose grandfather's clock is it? Nobody's grandfather's, McGee. The clock is simply called... My McGee. grandpa had one that told the day of the month, the season, the phase of the moon, how many shopping days till Christmas, and red palms. But it wouldn't tell time. <laughs> we had to use a dollar watch to see what No, that... no, no. You don't understand at all. This clock... What kind it... of a clock is it, Mr. Mayor? Is it an alarm clock? Because The I... one my grandpa had was a tall one with a door in it. We used to play hide-and-seek in it until one day my big brother was in there when it struck 12 and would like to beat his brains out before... It... <laughs> oh, stop this, Nellie. Stop, Sam. Huh? Still in up, Sam. No. Nonsense. No. Look, this ridiculous oh, argument... Oh, now, now, Mr. Mayor. Let's not forget that we are, first of all, gentlemen. 
Except me, of course. Now, gosh, don't come in here with that double talk of yours and try to louse us up like that, Latrivia. <laughs> well, all right. I'm busy, boy. I'm fixing a clock. Yes, but tell me one thing, Mr. Mayor. How did your dear old grandfather like the clock you bought him? Yeah, if he wants me to fix it, so it'll cuckoo, Latrive. Have your grandpa bring it in to me, and I'll be glad to... I didn't buy my clock saw a good cook. What? A cook or a clock book. You said... I didn't say I want a grand for my clock father. Feather, feather, feather. Look, you when said... I said I clocked my grandfather's feather cook, you said... feathered my grandfather's block, the bloke, I didn't... You're the one that tries to confuse me, tries to abuse me, refuse me. I was a... Dis- you were the one that... Dis- I wasn't trying to... It was... It was... Yes, lad. You know, I wish I had your brains. Really? Well, that's very flattering, Latrive. You like to have my brains, eh? Yes. In a four-ounce bottle of alcohol. (laughs) A three-ounce bottle would do it. Good day! The clock. I fixed it. The door slam did it. Oh, boy, I told you I could fix it. Yeah, but McGee shut it off. It'll wear out if you let it. Hey, I can't make it stop cooking. My gosh, I can't get it stopped. It keeps cooking, oh, cooking. Oh, dear. Shake it. Oh. Dump it on the table, dearie. You'll yeah. ruin it if you let it. Ah, oh. Well, help me pick him up again, will you? Dad rat, that dad rat. Oh, I bought a little mongoose from a Scotsman named McSneed Cause the mongoose up in Scotland is a dreadful thing indeed Oh, the monkey's down the hunt. Hey, Molly Yes, dearie? I think I got this thing about whips Aha How's that, kiddo? Well, it struck three o'clock, all right. What time is it? 4.30. <laughs> but the hands point to 9.45. <laughs> well, anyway, I got it just about all put together. Frankly, dearie, I'll be happy if you just get the clock back to Teeny in time. For, uh, get it back there in one piece. Yeah. You know, if I were her mother and this was my clock, why, I'd... Oh, my gosh, I hope that ain't her. I need a little more time on this thing. Much oh, more. Oh, not so much. A couple of hundred years ought to be enough. Come in. Oh, for goodness sakes, if it isn't the old timer. Oh, hi there, old timer. Hello there, daughter. Hi, Johnny. Me and Bessie was just out for a walk and, uh... Hey, what you fixing, Johnny? Something? <laughs> a cuckoo clock, old timer. But did you say you were out walking with your girl? Yes. Uh, where is Bessie now? Out in front, sitting on the steps. Her corn's hurt. <laughs> well, bring her in. My God. Sure. We'd love to meet her, Mr. Old Timer. Is she pretty? <laughs> well, some say she is, daughter, and some say... Uh, well, let's just put it this way, kid. <laughs> Yeah. If you got that clock running, don't let Bessie look at it. <laughs> I hate to embarrass the girl in case it stopped and oh, I... that's okay. <laughs> well, call her in, old-timer. Hey, ba- Bessie! Bessie! It's okay. Put them letters back in the mailbox and come on in, baby. Okay, O.T., here I am, honey. <laughs> Kids, uh, I want you kids to meet up with the sweetest little girl in the world. My Bessie. <laughs> Bessie, this here's Mr. and Mrs. McGee. Well, how do you do, I'm sure. Hi, Bessie. Well, now, I'm awful glad to know you all. I'm a southern girl, that's why I say you all. <laughs> all of us all in the south, we all say you all. Of course, if any of you all lived with us all in the length of time... You all would be saying our souls just like we all. <laughs> That's because when we all... Easy there, Bessie. 
Easy, baby. Don't get so far south, you can't get back. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, now you stop your teasing me, old T. Do I understand you two are engaged to be married? Is that right? Yep, been engaged since 1934. <laughs> Me and Bessie, we believe in long engagements. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we, Bessie? Yes, we do, old T. I never forget what my old mammy used to say down on the plantation. Yeah. Mammy used to look at me with them big old eyes, and she'd say, Honey, child, she'd say... A stock company mammy, if I ever heard one. <laughs> now, I'm steery, don't be rude. Yes, Bessie? Honey, child, she'd say, stay engaged as long as you can. Because the longer you is engaged, the shorter you is married. <laughs> you two ever meet in the first place? Well, I... Was... I'll handle this, Bessie. <laughs> yes, old T. Bessie gets to running off of the jaw, kid. <laughs> Inclined to hog the conversation. <laughs> well, sir, I was a traveling salesman driving through the south and my car busted down. I knocked at the door of a farmhouse. Well, where have I heard that before? <laughs> Papa, he was a part-time policeman in them parts. We all call them share coppers down there. Share coppers, oh brother! <laughs> share coppers, <laughs> Bessie, you're cute. <laughs> that ain't the way I hear it. says to tell the feller, say, he says, I got a great idea for color television on black and white sets. Is that so, says tell the feller. How's that? Well, says the first feller, just line up a show with Ben Blue, Red Skelton, Mitzi Green, Joey Brown, Virginia Gray, and Pinky Lee, and get it sponsored by the Yellow Cab Company in East Orange. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Bessie, so long, kids. Ta-ta, you all. <laughs> What were we all doing before you all let them all in? You all were fixing to finish fixing that all cuckoo clock. Oh, yeah. My gosh, I better hurry, too. Although you got to admit I haven't done such a bad job on this thing. Well, I will admit it's all in one piece, at least. Yeah, and I got it to cuckoo, too. Of course, it don't run, but you can't have everything. <laughs> Didn't even cuckoo when Peeny brought it in here, but now look. All I got to do is set the hands at this 6.30, like this, and... Amazing! See? How did you do it? Oh, dear. Come in. Mr. Hi, Miss McGee. Oh, hi, sis. Well, I got it just about fixed for you. Hello, Teeny. Mr. McGee has been doing some very interesting things with your clock. You betcha. Oh, boy. Have you, Mr. McGee? Does it cuckoo? Who hmm. does it? Sure it does. Just a second, I'll show you. I want to make one more little tiny adjustment in the back here first. One little bitsy teensy turn of this screw here. That. Oh! Oh! Ah. Oh! What you went and did? You said you'd fix my clock, and you no, no, you no, didn't no, do no. Don't, now, don't start crying, oh, sis. I'm my gosh. Well, I'm the clumsiest butter. Look, well, I'll tell you what. You take it down to the jeweler and have him send me the bill. I'll sweep it into a bag for you, and you can. Yeah, fix but it. if he can't fix oh, it, oh, sure, he can fix it. I bet he can fix it as good as Mr. McGee did, Teeny. Maybe even better. I yeah, hope. Yeah, sure, he yeah, can. But maybe he can fix. Mr. McGee's got it so messed uh, up. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm an old. But let's keep my name out of this, sis. I'll tell you what, here's a buck for you. And if anybody asks you how the clock got so snarled up, you tell them, tell, tell them you fell down with it. Huh? How about that? Mister, I can't tell a falsehood, not for any amount of money. Oh, dear. But look, for three dollars, I will fall down with it. <laughs> Set down your front steps, that'll smash the daylights out of That's it. That's a deal. Here, three bucks. Gee, thanks, Mr. Oh, boy, three dollars. Twelve chocolate sodas. Hey, Teeny. Oh, wait a minute, Teeny. Yeah, you're forgetting the clocks. Is here. Take it along. Oh, who wants that old thing, mister? 
You can have it. What? Yeah, but what if your folks want your family? My family never saw it, mister. I huh? found it on Toops's trash pile. Oh. Goodbye, now. Well, I'll be a... You be quiet. Well, that certainly was a wasted afternoon, wasn't it, dearie? Yeah, it sure was. That'll teach me never to monkey around with something I don't know any... I'll get it. Hello. Yeah, this is him. Oh, hi, Ed. Huh? It is? Well, now I never did, Ed, but... Huh? Oh, well, that should be fairly simple. Well, sure, you hold everything. I'll be right down, Ed. Yeah, so long, Ed. I'll see you later, Molly. I gotta run down to City Hall. What for, and who's Ed? He's a chief maintenance man down there. Says the City Hall clock is stuck. I'm going to help him fix it. Oh, dear. Yeah, good night. Good night, all. (laughs) 